So let's move on to our parade of showcases. Oh God. There's been a There's lot. There's so many. And we're gonna do these in reverse order because I think people wanna hear about the most recent one. The Nintendo Direct yeah. is probably the most exciting one to talk about. Yeah. There's one game on here I'm probably gonna spend a long time well, talking about. Actually, <laughs> but before we get into specific games, I wanna talk about the general thought, feeling of it because I was went into this thing with low expectations. Um, my thought was that they got, my guess is the next console is coming out holiday next year. And there has been like six rumored uh, remakes or remasters. Uh, F-Zero GX, uh, Metroid Prime 2 and 3, Twilight Princess slash Wind Waker. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, uh, Kid Icarus Uprising, Pokemon Black and White, and one other that I can't remember right now. But, well, I'll probably think of it in a minute. But I, I kind of thought they would coast between now and the next console on remakes and remasters. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm mostly fine with that. Uh, was mostly fine with that. But it's driving me nuts that I can't think of the last one. Um, oh, uh, Fire Emblem, Genealogy of the Holy War. That was the last one. Mm -hmm. And then after this showcase, after this direct, I thought, oh, no, I was wrong. But now I look at this list. I wasn't that wrong. It is a lot of remakes and remasters, but it wasn't the ones I expected. And mm -hmm. it's ones that are more exciting than the one I expected, namely Super Mario RPG, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, and that's great. And, and there is also a few, a couple more original games in here than I thought, especially, you know, Mario Wonder. Mario Wonders being the biggest one. I didn't, I thought they would save that for the next console. I'm still kind of mm -hmm. confused why they're not, but hey, I'm happy. Um, so yeah, how do you feel about the direct overall before we get into specific games? I thought, I thought the beginning was a little like, I felt like, oh no, this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> to yeah. be honest with you, I was like, people are going to be mean to this direct in a way that'll be annoying. And yeah. then, uh, Mario RPG showed up and I was like, oh, never mind. Nope. They crushed it. <laughs> how are you feeling about w w when do you think the next console is coming? Uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, really? And I have a theory about that Peach game. Yeah. I think that's on the new console. Do you think... Do you think it's cross-gen or only on the new console? I would say cross-gen. Okay. That, but yeah, that I could agree with. The thing that I that makes me think that is Nintendo doesn't really ever really do this thing. It's like, oh, here's this thing we're working on. They don't ever do that. That really. was... Yeah. Um, that did feel like... This this felt to me like the last hurrah of the Switch. Like, it hey, did. this yeah. is these are the games. Now we have announced all these, and now we can start getting ready to talk about the next console, which hopefully by the end of this year, they'll at least mention it and, and give us some information. Although you mm -hmm. don't want to give too much of a lead time because then people will stop buying Switches. So I don't... Maybe uh maybe it'll come out in the spring. That'd be great, but I, I kind of doubt it. I. I, they usually do holidays, don't they? Like the last couple ones have been well, holiday releases. The Switch was a spring release, but you could argue that's just because they need to move on from the Wii U as yeah, fast as Yeah, they need possible. to drop it as fast as possible, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'd say you're probably right, but uh, you know, I want it sooner <laughs> for sure. They... I do too. Hey, I'd, like, I'd, I'd love a new Nintendo console. Tears of the Kingdom Tears of the Kingdom started to get a little framey, uh, and some of the <laughs> Super Mario RPG looked a little framey too. Yeah. Um, and what was the other question I was going to ask? Oh, you know, and again, and we're, we're, we're just about to get into these games, but I was also thinking about how a lot of what the Switch has, yes, there's Wii U ports, yes, there's remakes, there's remasters, and yes, a lot of uh, the indie games are available on other consoles, but man, you look at the library of this console, of everything you can play on it, every important indie game, maybe ever, honestly, mm. because yeah. like every um good wii u game um and then just the first party lineup of switch games of you have two zelda games that are incredible you have a, an incredible 3d mario soon to be an incredible 2d mario yep. uh, you have two great fire emblem games um you have pikmin 4 coming uh you have two pokemon games i know opinions a little mixed on those but 
it's just nonstop. Captain Toad, well, Captain Toad's a Wii U port, but I yeah. love that game. Uh, even shit like Stipper Clips, uh, you know, the best Smash Brothers. I mean, it's just, it might be the best library of a console ever, if we're being honest. Yeah, it's got, it's a strong, I think it's the strongest Nintendo console, to be honest with you. Yeah. It's definitely up there. Like, yeah. th- this thing has a killer lineup that, like, I think about it, I'm like, I could, I would take many of these games over, like, Xbox games. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely, and even PlayStation, um, for me, anyway. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about how, if I sold my Xbox and my PlayStation, which I'm not going to do, but it's just, you know, yeah. sold Xbox, PlayStation, Steam Deck, I, even just, if we're only counting this year, I have only about halfway through Metroid Prime Remake, uh, I haven't started Fire Emblem Engage. I haven't started Advance Wars. And that's only games that came out this year. Plus, you know, Tears of the Kingdom, I'm on the last boss. I haven't beaten that yet. And, you know, Pikmin's coming. Pikmin 1 and 2 just dropped. What, I mean, not, well, now we're getting into specific games, I guess. <laughs> I guess we'll start there. Let's start with Pikmin. Um, <laughs> the most exciting thing to me was Pikmin 1 and 2 dropping at the end, which I bought. I haven't started yet. But Pikmin 4, uh, you get the dog now. It looks to be on earth i guess the other ones have been on earth because they had like duracell batteries but you do get to go and game boy advances yes that's true uh but you do get to go inside a house on this one um Ooh. this game looks really neat to me uh i'm still a little bit worried about controls because pikmin hasn't gelled with me except for pikmin 3 with the touchscreen controls which are obviously mm. gone now because you don't have a tablet anymore yeah. um so i'm still a little bit concerned about that but other than that i think this game looks fantastic and i I've- I love those first two Pikmin games. I have not played three yet, and I um, probably should. Yeah, you I should really, definitely play three. I I love those first two. I'm like, I could go for more Pikmin. Yeah. Pikmin 3 is one of my favorite games of all time, but like I said, I controlled it in a way that is no longer an option anymore. So yeah. that's going to be... Uh, it's, I, I don't know. But if, but if you like the first two, then I'm sure you won't have a problem. No. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. And I, I might even start Pikmin 1 when we get done here. <laughs> I was planning on doing it last night and then talking about it uh on the show but i didn't um wario wear move it that was uh a big highlight for me i'm a little bit i prefer and i, I don't have a ton of experience with wario wear but what i do have i prefer the first one without motion controls mm-hmm. i'm a little bit worried about motion controls in this one but people do like that wii game a lot yeah um, it's weird to me that they went with motion controls again yeah Very it strange. is and the last one had the last one's gimmick was you actually controlled a character on the screen uh, rather than I, I don't know a nebulous rather than controlling yourself yeah. um, if that makes sense um, and so this one's gimmick is motion controls but they, yeah they've done that before so I don't know the the Wii one I think people's biggest complaint was it wasn't uh, great for single player content it was more made as a party mm-hmm. game and yeah. we'll s- this one, they did say, hey, we got some four-player stuff, but it they focused mostly on single-player. Interesting. Granted, it was, you know, Nintendo Direct. It's like 90 seconds of the game, so who knows, but... Um, Princess Peach game. That was yep. one of two games, well, one of two first-party games that were announced for next year. Mm-hmm. It's Princess Peach's first game starring games since uh super princess peach on ds yes um and she changes into a wedding dress at the end it looks like but we don't know what that means she's getting married yeah well okay i guess we do know what that means but as far as the gameplay uh effect we don't know or maybe she just really likes wedding dresses maybe so more Uh, power to her (laughs) the other game announced for next year was a remaster of luigi's mansion dark moon uh, not much to say I, about that one. Oh. I, I don't really like that one. <laughs> I, I much prefer two and oh, one and three. I have not played. Uh, I, I re- the only one I did play was three, and I haven't finished that yet either. Speaking that of Wii, really good. Speaking of Wii U games, I need to finish. Um, okay. Well, it's coming anyway. You can't stop it. I can't. I can't stop Nintendo. Unfortunately, I've tried. <laughs> You can't stop that, or you can't stop Detective Pikachu. Uh, although they tried for like the last three years or so, because they announced this game in an interview like three years ago. Yeah, I don't even know, I don't even know if you can call that an announcement, but they just said like we're gonna do a sequel. I I I uh, 
Uh, I'm, I might say something controversial here. Oh, this, this game looks like shit. <laughs> it, like a little, like, I'm not a graphics person. I'm not, a, like, oh, we'll get into it, but later. I'm not a fam- frame rating gra- graphics guy. I'm not. Okay. It's just not my thing. Uh, I look at this, and I'm like, this, uh, this is a 3DS game <laughs> that they put on the Switch. It actually made me, I remember when they were showing us, thinking, is it a port of the original? Which, yeah. which was a 3DS game. Cause, uh, like, it, there are shots of that trailer where Pikachu is very clearly not on the ground. He's, like, floating above it. Yeah. But the last two Pokemon games weren't lookers either. That's just no. not, that's not Game Freak's thing or Pokemon Company's yeah, thing. Yeah, that, that, the, the Pokemon DLC, I don't know if you have this on this list. No, I didn't write it down. that looked rough, too. Yeah. Wow, oof. that game, that game was rough. The base that game. That game is, oof, whoa. Um... But yeah, I mean, I, uh, although I don't think that's what people are coming to Detective Pikachu for. I mean, granted, no, 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 granted no. I'm not going to play it in any way. But, but, to be honest with you. Uh, Star Ocean, the second story R. That's a mouthful of a name. Go- gorgeous looking. This game is beautiful. It is. It is. You you had mentioned in a chat, it ended up being a different Star Ocean game, but you said, oh, there's a Star Ocean game that looks like shit. And I thought you were yeah. crazy, but Divine uh, Force about one. is the one that looks like shit. Yeah. The game just really looks bad. Uh, yeah, I like Star Ocean. I'm excited to play this one. I've only played a couple of them. Uh, but, yeah, I'm definitely down to check this one out, see what this is all about. This has the the 2D H, the HD 2D art style of Octopath Traveler and, and uh, some of the other ones they've been doing. But mm-hmm. it does seem like they are willing to go behind the back with the camera more than those games are. Those games are pretty much side-scrolling, yes. but... Uh, so this, this uh, Star Ocean's a little bit more actiony than yeah. those games do, so like it's really interesting to see how they move the camera around in this art style. Yeah, and immediately people started clamoring for a Chrono Trigger in this art style, which mm, maybe no. Oh, uh, maybe I thought, I thought you were saying you didn't want it. No, I I may, maybe I'd like that. Yeah, and then. Then we got two here that were probably the most hyped moments of the direct. Unless yeah. you're unless you're a big WarioWare fan. Um we'll start with Super Mario RPG remake. Yeah. This got rumored about two days before the direct, but I didn't believe it. I thought no mm. fucking way. Because There's you, no yeah. It's it's on paper, it sounds ridiculous yeah. that anyone would ever do this. You have to get Nintendo involved, you have to get Square involved. Or at least I presume you have to get Square involved. Um Although they didn't mention anything about Square, but still, I would, I think, like, they own, have at least part ownership on Gino and Malo, right? Yes, they do. Yeah. I've always heard that that's why, like, Square Enix and Nintendo are, like, that's the reason why this would, would never happen. Like, it's just, yeah. like, such an impossible thing. Same with Chrono Trigger. Like, Square doesn't do this usually. And <laughs> it turns out four failures in a row. Right. <laughs> Makes you say yes to a lot of things real quick. That's what I was going to say. They've had a lot of flops recently, um, and we'll see how Final Fantasy 16 does. But, um, man, like I just kind of feel like they were backed into a corner on this. And it's yeah, good. they were. Now, I wonder if this uh, really hits, which I feel like it probably will. Because um, you think of how, like... Fire Emblem was successful before the Switch, but boy, Three Houses fucking blew up. And yep. there, there's a lot of series like that. Like, um, it, even Animal Crossing, to a degree, was like, hey, it was successful before the Switch, but boy, oh boy, did the Switch yeah. blow up and stuff. Like, Everyone started playing yeah. after the Switch came out. This could happen. And then we could start seeing, especially now with no more Mario and Luigi series, like, this could come back as a series. There could be a Mario RPG 2 and a Mario RPG I 3. Hope there is someday. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be insane. Um, yeah, just, uh, and I think it looks gorgeous. Uh, I remember when I was first watching the Direct, I wasn't, I don't know, when they first started rolling gameplay footage, I wasn't that impressed. Just thought, oh, it kind of looks like New Super Mario Brothers. But as it went on, I was like, oh, no, no, no. There's more here than I was I I, I love Thick Mario. He, we, thick, we love a thick, thick, chubby king. Thick, stocky Mario. Uh, and he's, he's in the next game, too. Um, next all right. I guess we can go ahead and move on to the next game if there's nothing else to say about Mario RPG. I feel like there is, though. But whatever, it's exciting. I never actually played Mario RPG, so I'm excited. Um, She will not be called Princess Toadstool in this one, which is funny because she was... I think Mario RPG was the last game where they called her Princess Toadstool. Yeah. 
But anyway, Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Um, 2D Mario's back, uh, and it's not the new Super Mario Brothers art style anymore, which people seem to hate. I, I don't totally get Why? I know. I get that okay. Like, Look, those games, they were fun. The first three were fun. Yeah. <laughs> the fourth one, I was a little tired. I was like, all right, let's May- not. Maybe that's more accurate. It's not that people hate it. It's that they got real tired of it. Um, yeah. I, I, and, and the walking turtles, I, I, yeah. I, I hear those are my nightmares still. <laughs> uh, man, this game looks great though. <laughs> it really does. Um, I know kind of the obvious joke is that it's, you know, Mario on an ass trip, but boy, oh boy, it does. Like it's, it's accurate. <laughs> that's, that is what you it know, seems like. You know what it reminds me of is like, uh, when I was a kid, one of my favorite activities while eating breakfast was reading the back of cereal boxes. And sure. something about the mm-hmm. art kind of reminds me of, like, the super, like, like not advertisery, but more like the the, 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 the kitty playful kind of colors and stuff yeah. like that. I really like that. It's, like, really cool to look at. I can see that. I think they should have Tony the Tiger guest star in this. They should, yes. Oh, oh wait, his voice actor died. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's sad. Uh, uh, Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, Daisy are all playable, and it looked like Yoshi was at parts. I don't know if you like. Hmm. We saw him playable, but we also saw Mario riding on him, so I don't know exactly how that's gonna work. Maybe he's like a. You know how New Super Mario Brothers U when they brought it over to uh, the Switch, they added. Toadette and Nabbit as like beginner yeah. characters. Maybe that's what Yoshi is. He's like an easy character. I don't know. Yeah. Um, it is multiplayer, but no online, which I made a TikTok and YouTube very short strange. Very, about very strange. That and Sonic Superstars and Disney Infinity Island. Or is that what it's called? Infinity Island? No. Whatever. Uh, Illusion, Illusion Island. Illusion Island, yes. Uh, about how all of them have local only, which greatly upsets me. Um, Those games look amazing, but it's so weird yeah, it that is. they're just like... And I'm, I'm not particularly a 2D platformer guy. It's not, right. not really the thing I'm into. But I look at these games and I'm like, man, these are all great. I know. And you think about how the last couple of years this has been the case. Cuphead had no online. Rayman Origins and Legends. Uh, Unravel 2. It's just like for these 2D games, they don't think they need it. Um, but I know they can do it because... Streets of Rage 4 and Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge had it. I know those mm-hmm. are beat-em-ups, but they're still 2D games. I don't want to hear that Nintendo couldn't do this. That's bullshit. <laughs> Nintendo, it takes a while. That's just their thing. It's like, they're just... It, it sucks. It's absolutely awful. I mean, yeah. I, I agree that it sucks. But, but there, there's also Sega here with Sonic and, and uh, the La La oh. with Disney. Ugh. Um... When I posted that, some people are... I don't know how people could be so fucking stupid, but people are saying, no, local's great. There's, uh, we, we, wouldn't go to, we wouldn't want to go to online only. It's like, I never said online only. You can have both. It's not yeah, fucking It's not magic. either or. It's not yes. either or. It's why can't we have both? Yes, exactly. Oh, people drive me crazy. So I believe that's the end of the Nintendo Direct... Uh, yeah, like I said, I didn't write down the Pokemon DLC, but there was Pokemon DLC. It looked pretty bad. <laughs> it looked, it pretty looked that trailer didn't tell me anything. If uh, Maybe if you played the base game, you know exactly what's going on, but I didn't. So, like, there was no narration, no words to say, hey, new areas, new whatever, new, I don't know. It's just like, I'm looking at a trailer. All like, we I, know is there's a mysterious disc. Yeah. And... That game looks and runs terribly. <laughs> uh, I have heard people tell me that like it's the best gameplay Pokemon's ever had, but I yeah I can't, for sure. I can't get past the problems there. Yeah, when when you load in and like characters are just like standing and like the ether, or, yeah. like the, the background is like fading in and out. I'm like, I don't really usually care about this stuff, but this is bad. I feel like I asked you this when it came out, but I forget. Is the whole game co-op or just parts of it? I, I have not played this game in forever. I okay. don't remember. All right. I'm sure. I, I, 
And when it came up in the direct, I asked that same question. And I asked myself that same question every time somebody talks about it. I'm sure I could look it up by now. I just always never think about it until we're talking about it. Exactly. 